Tuberculosis is the world's deadliest infectious disease. In fact, Texas ranks among the top four states in the country for incidence of tuberculosis, and Bear County ranks fourth in the state of Texas. At the Texas Biomedical Institute in San Antonio, they are doing groundbreaking research which may lead to a vaccine and someday a cure. Let's go there and learn more. Uh, tuberculosis is one of the top 10 leading causes of death in the world today. Um, it's caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis, and it's transmitted human to human. So the cough of someone with active lung tuberculosis can allow for the spread to other humans if they're in close contact. South Texas in particular has a higher than normal average rate of tuberculosis. And in fact, we have um, a freestanding tuberculosis hospital in the city uh, to manage some of the highly drug resistant cases of tuberculosis. Nothing to be alarmed about, uh, but certainly to be knowledgeable about these diseases being present, not only in a world stage, but also one can see these locally and regionally. Diabetics are at increased risk to a variety of infections, and tuberculosis is one of them. Uh, this is uh, one of the reasons I think we're seeing uh, more uh, tuberculosis in, in South Texas. Researcher Joanne Turner plays a key role on the Texas Biomed team as she studies why elderly patients are more prone to tuberculosis infection. So I am trying to understand why as you get older, you're more likely to get an infection, any infection. So I think we all know as we grow older, we're more likely to get flu, the common cold and tuberculosis is exactly the same. Um, as we're old, we grow older, uh, changes happen in our immune system. Um, and those are cells in our bodies that normally would fight infection. Uh, so they don't work as well. They grow older just like us. And sometimes their responses are slower and sometimes they've changed uh, and they often do the wrong thing. And then that allows that bacteria to start growing in our bodies and causing an actual illness instead of being controlled by those cells. Texas biomed scientist Jordi Torres shows me maps of the U.S. and Texas, which detail recent tuberculosis infections, including those in San Antonio and Bear County. Torres explains that immigration, overseas travel, and population density can all contribute to increased incidence of tuberculosis in large cities. One of the main things uh, that people think is probably immigration. It's not only immigration, there are also traveling overseas and it's also clustering of people in a small areas. So big cities like for example Dallas has a lot of TV in, 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 in that area. Also Houston has a lot of TV and of course San Antonio. So being here is really important. We have great facilities, one. So our institute's known for biocontainment. Uh, which means we're used to working with infections that need special um, control so that we can work safely. So we have that here. Um, we also are in a state that has a lot of tuberculosis, which means that we can go out and actually take uh, blood samples from humans and study their blood. Um, and that also links in with the fact that we have a TB hospital here, which gives us better access to patients. Um, and we have really good facilities and resources here. As far as having a team working together, it means that we can do science quicker. So we can make a finding and I can talk to my colleagues and tell them that finding instantly without having to wait for it to be public knowledge. Uh, and then we can move and accelerate quicker and get to a cure quicker. One needs to get a handle on determining who will develop latent infection, who will get sick with TB, who needs therapy today, who needs that vaccine. And the work we've been doing in our laboratory is really uncovering those molecules and determinants that can predict when a human is more or less susceptible. Uh, and we hope this research will lead to, for example, a new personalized medicine approach, diagnostic platform to identify individuals who are at particular risk for tuberculosis. The World Health Organization's Global Tuberculosis Strategy aims to eradicate tuberculosis by 2035, and Texas Biomed will continue to play a major role in that effort.